definitely taller than somebody else. You know Mark is a big dude, man. Yes, yes. It's ridiculous. But you a big dude, too. This is what protein shakes will do for you, ladies. <laughs> What's going on, man? Straight out of Compton. Underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows you from Leverage. <laughs> you, you just getting paid. Can, can I get a McDonald's Happy Meal one day? I'm just trying to keep the light bill paid, brother. That's it. You know, trying to keep it pushing. Listen, yeah. you, you just seem to every role kind of dictate what you're going to do in your career. Oh, you, you, cool. I've seen you go from the funny man to now straight out Compton, you more serious, to now you on some type of level up there with the, with the heavy hitter. <laughs> Tell me what's going on with Underground, man. man underground. Actually, the beautiful thing about Underground is that these, these people are heroes. That's what really drew me into the, the project in the first place because when I first heard about it, I said, okay, you know, it's a show about slavery. Like, how does that content relate, you know, or how does it, how does it resonate, rather, over seasons? I read the script, blew my mind, because I said, wow, these, these, it's coming from a different perspective. These people are strong. These people are smart, and they're, they're strong-willed. And the way they had to, to navigate back in the day, I mean, you, you know, we don't have phones, we don't have Google, we don't have cars, none of that, you know. They're literally reading the stars, reading, you know, signs on trees, moss, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But... They're so brilliant in their execution and who they are. It gave me a whole different kind of appreciation for enslaved Americans back in the day. And none of these people are weak. Usually we see slave narratives where it comes from a point of victimization where people are just downtrodden and, and solemn. These people take their weaknesses, internalize them, and turn them into strengths. You know, okay, you want to beat me? That's cool. You do what you have to do, but I'm going to bring you in here. You think you're winning, but you're not. I'm going to show you why later. And that's the kind of thing that flips, because it's always flipping every five seconds. You know, nothing ever slows down. This is a constant upbeat, up-paced adventure. And, uh, and like I continue to say, man, these people go to war, brother. And when, when it hits the fan, oh, oh. See, see, I can already tell that you did a whole lot of research, because back in school, that's what they taught us. They said that slaves fought back against their masters in different ways. Either they slowed down production, or they were escaping, and they had one another's backs. So you learned that in school because I didn't. The history of the enslaved Americans was not present in my textbooks, which was always annoying to me. Because even as a kid, as an eight-year-old kid, I was forward-thinking enough to understand that this there's a problem with this. Mm -hmm. Like, why are we not there? You know what I mean? Especially when the backbone of America's economy was built upon slavery. So, so do you hope that this series? is going to help kind of spawn something within the youth today? Like, is this going to help young people today realize, hey, this is what we came from, man? Here's, here's something that I hope it, it does generally. I feel like just the subject of black people in America is there's still, there's still a, a disconnected. Uh, uh, there's still something disconnected there because it's not like, you know, we are really considered in this light. That's why when I say, you know, enslaved people, not slaves, it's because when, you know, you call yourself a slave, okay, it's like you take ownership of it. Like, this is what I am, this is what I do. These people did not own that. They were enslaved. Somebody has to take accountability for that. Somebody was doing this to them. And to a point, when they came here, maybe they were not of this country, but the moment they were born here, the moment they start building up here, the moment they start digging into the ground, they own this as much as anybody else. So these were Americans being enslaved by other Americans. That's something that I think is widely omitted from the understanding or perception of slavery is that these people are Americans you know what I'm saying so I hope that there's a sense of appreciation that comes from that for the youth that watches the show and at the same time uh, I hope there's an appreciation for cohesion of people not it doesn't matter what color you are because we tell it from the, the perspective of the white abolitionists too who didn't agree with slavery they were like look this I don't care what color you look like this is wrong this is a human being doing this to another human being so I hope it further pushes the the marker on you know just American unity because that's something that is drastically missing you know and has been for for many years all right man thank you so much Aldis. all right shameless selfie time Let's get it man